This video is about optimization. A few definitions. Critical point. A point A f of A on the graph of f of t at which f prime of A equals zero or f prime of A is undefined is called a critical point. Local extrema. f of x has a local or relative maximum at x equals a if f of a is greater than or equal to f of x for all x close to a. f of x has a rel local or relative minimum at x equals a if f of a is less than or equal to f of x for all x close to a. Global extreme. f of x has a global or absolute maximum at x equals a if f of a is greater than or equal to f of x for all x in the domain of f. f of x has a global or absolute minimum at x equals a if f of a is less than or equal to f of x for all x in the domain of f. The first root of test for extrema, if a is a critical point of f of t and f prime of t is less than zero for t less than a, and f prime of t is greater than zero for t greater than a, then f of a is a local minimum. If a is a critical point of f of t, and f prime of t is greater than zero for t less than a, and f prime of t is less than zero for t greater than a, then f of a is a local maximum. There's also the second root of test for, local, for extrema, for all critical points A of f of t, where f prime of A equals zero, find f double prime of A. If f of double prime of A is less than zero, then f of t is concave down and has a local maximum at x equals A. If f double prime of A is greater than zero, then f of t is concave up and f and has a local minimum at x equals a. And if f double prime of a equals zero, then f of t may have a local maximum, may have a local minimum, or neither at x equals a. Concavity, a point on the graph of a function f of a at which the change in co of concavity occurs is called an inflection point. To find possible values of the inflection point f double prime of a equals zero, or f double prime of a is undefined. So let's do an example. Example number one, looking at this graph, determine the local extrema, the inflection point, and the global extrema for x on negative five, I'm sorry, negative four to five. So the local extrema appear to be, or the local maximum appears to be at x equals negative three, since the graph is increasing, um, to negative three, and then it's decreasing after, from x equals negative three. The local maximum is approximately f of negative three equals sixty-five. The local minimum appears to be at x equals 2. Since the graph is decreasing to x equals 2 and then increasing from x equals 2, the local max, uh, minimum appears to be f of 2 equals negative 60. The inflection point appears to be appears to be about f of zero um, equals negative fifteen. Since the graph is concave down below zero and concave up above zero. In the interval, in the 
in the interval from negative four to positive five, f of two appears to be the smallest number. So that is your global minimum. So f of two equals negative 60 is the global min. And f of five equals about 120 appears to be the largest number, so that's your global maximum. So f of five equals 20, 120 is the global max in that interval. Example two. In example two, I'd like to find the local extrema and the inflection points. The first problem is f of x is equal to x cubed minus 12x minus 5. The solution to this is first find the critical points by finding the derivative and then setting the derivatives equal to 0. f prime of x is equal to 3x squared minus 12 equals 0. Factoring this, you get 3 times x squared minus 4, which is 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 equals zero. The critical points therefore are x is equal to plus or minus two. Using the first root of test, drawing a number line, putting negative two on your number line, putting two on your number line, since the derivative is positive below negative two, and you try a number below negative two, and negative after negative two, f of negative two, which is equal to negative two cubed minus 12 times negative two minus five is equal to 11 is a local maximum. Since the derivative is negative below two, when you test a number below two, and positive after two, when you test a number above that, f of two, which is equal to two cubed, minus 12 times two, minus five, is equal to negative 21, is a local min or minimum. That's using the first root of test. Using the second derivative test, you need to first get the second derivative. The second derivative of f is just 6x. Evaluate f double prime at negative 2 will give you 6 times negative 2 is equal to negative 12, which is less than 0. So f of negative 2, which is equal to negative 2 cubed, minus 12 times negative 2 minus 5 equals 11 is a local maximum. f double prime of 2 is equal to 6 times 2, which is 12, which is greater than 0. So f of 2, which is 2 cubed, minus 12 times two minus five, which is equal to negative 21, is a local min. The inflection point is where f double prime which is equal to 6x equals 0. So x is equal to 0. Looking at your number line, f of 
f double prime is negative below zero, positive above zero, and since f double prime changes sign at x equals zero, then f of zero, which is equal to zero cubed minus 12 times zero minus five, which is equal to negative five, is an inflection point. Here's the graph. That confirm and the graph confirms the minimum, maximum, and inflection point. F of x equals five minus one third. I'm sorry. F of x equals five minus x to the one third is our second problem. The solution to that is again first find the critical points by finding the derivative and then setting the derivative equal to zero or where it's undefined. f prime of x is equal to minus one third x to the negative two thirds. This is undefined at x equals zero. So the critical point is x equals zero. Using the first sort of test, then if you're in number line, f prime of zero, f prime of x, when you're below zero, it's negative. When it's above zero, it's positive. Since the derivative is negative below zero, sorry, it's not positive above zero, it's still negative above zero. Since the derivative is negative below zero and negative above zero, f does not have any local extrema since the derivative does not change signs at the critical point. If you want to use the second derivative test, f double prime of x is equal to 2 ninths x to the negative 5 thirds. f double prime of 0 is undefined. So the second derivative test is actually inconclusive. The inflection point is f prime of x is equal to 2 ninths x to the negative 5 halves is also undefined at 0. If you're below zero, your second derivative is negative. If you're above zero, your second derivative is positive. Since f double prime changes signs at x equals zero, f of zero, which is equal to five minus zero to the one third, which is equal to five, is an inflection point. The graph of this confirms this also. It confirms that there is no maximum, there is no minimum, but there is an inflection point. Part C says f of x is equal to 2 times e to the x minus x e to the x. The solution, you got to first find the critical points by finding the derivative and then setting the derivative equal to zero or where it's undefined. f prime of x is going to equal 2 e to the x minus product rule e to, um, derivative of the first times the second minus the first times the derivative of the second. Simplify this, you get 2 e to the x. Sorry, you get e to the x minus x e to the x. Set that equal to zero. Factor e to the x out, you get one minus x is equal to zero. So x equals one. So the critical point is one. Using the first derivative test, 
drawing your number line. If we're to below one, the derivative would be positive. If you're above one, the derivative would be negative. Since the derivative is positive below one and negative after one, f of one, which is equal to two times e to the one minus one times e to the one is equal to e to the one is a local max. Or using the second derivative test, you need to find the second derivative, f double prime of x would be e to the x minus the derivative of x e to the x is the derivative of the first, e to the x, one times e to the x minus x times the derivative of e to the x. So you get minus x e to the x. F double prime at one is gonna give you minus one e to the one equals minus e to the one, which is less than zero. So f of one, which is equal to two times e to the one minus one times e to the one is equal to e to the one is a local max. Your inflection point is f double prime of x is equal to e to the x minus um, um, is, sorry, your inflection point, apologize. We already know the second derivative is minus x e to the x, set that equal to zero, and that equals zero at x equals zero. Doing your number line, f double prime. Put zero on here. If you're below zero, and you plug that in, you're going to get a positive number. If you're above zero, you're going to get a negative number. So since f double prime changes sign at x equals zero, f of zero, which is equal to two times e to the zero, minus zero e to the zero, which is equal to two, is an inflection point. The graph confirms this. You can see the maximum, the minimum, and your inflection point. There is no minimum. Now I'd like to find the global extrema on the given intervals. F of x is equal to x cubed minus 12x minus five on the interval from negative one to four. You want to evaluate the function at the endpoints and at the critical points that fall in the interval of interest. f of x is equal to x cubed minus 12x minus five. From example 2a, the critical points are x is equal to plus or minus two. However, negative two is not in this interval, so do not consider that critical point. f of two, is equal to two cubed minus 12 times two minus five, which is equal to negative 21. F of negative one is gonna equal negative one cubed minus 12 times negative one minus five, which equals six. And F of four is equal to four cubed minus 12 times four minus five equals 11. The smallest number is negative 21. 
So that is your global min. And the largest number is 11. So that is your global max. The next problem is f of x is equal to five minus x to the one third. We want to do that on the interval from negative one to four. Evaluate the function at the endpoints and at the critical points that fall in the interval. f of x again is five minus x to the one third. From example number two b, the critical point is x equals zero. f of zero is five minus zero to one third equals five f of negative 1 is 5 minus a negative 1 to the 1 third, which is equal to 6. And f of 4 is equal to 5 minus 4 to the 1 third, which is approximately equal to 3.41. The largest number is 6, so that is your global max. The smallest number is 3.14, so that is your global min. The next example is f of x is equal to 2 e to the x minus x e to the x on negative 2, negative 1, 2. Again, you want to evaluate the function at the endpoints and at the critical points that fall in that interval of interest. From example number 2, the critical point is x equals 1 f of 1 would be 2 times e to the 1 minus 1 e to the 1 is equal to approximately, well, actually it's equal to e to the 1, which is approximately equal to 2.718. f of negative 1 is equal to 2e to the negative 1 minus a negative 1, 2e, negative 1, e to the negative 1 which is actually equal to 3e to the negative 1, which is approximately equal to 1.10. And f of 2 is equal to 2e to the 2 minus 2e to the 2, which is 0. The largest number is 2.718, so that's your global max. And the smallest number is 0, so that is your global min.